breaking. IT's happening. Obama can't run from this. The congressional investigations are running deeper than expected. They were looking into the Trump dossier and remained focused on the FBI and Justice Department, but now they're going after someone unexpected. They're digging ditches in the Obama State Department and cracking open closet doors to see what skeletons tumble out like a bag of bones. They're suspecting there might be a little bit of a problem with the collection and dissemination of sensational and still unverified allegations about President Trump. The information is said to have been collected by an ex-British spy who allegedly worked on the Clinton campaign. The former spy is Christopher Steele, and he's said to have connections within Obama's Justice Department, the FBI, and the Obama State Department. Steele is mentioned in a book, by author Luke Harding, titled Collusion, Secret Meetings, Dirty Money, and How Russia Helped Donald Trump Win. Apparently, the book is a far reach. But that's what Steele wanted his book to be about, and that's how he published it. It's like anyone can publish a book now. Washington Examiner reported this excerpt from Harding's book. The, soccer, episode burnished Steele's reputation inside the U.S. intelligence community and the FBI. Here was a pro, a well-connected Brit, who understood Russian espionage and its subterranean tricks. Steele was regarded as credible. Between 2014 and 2016, Steele authored more than a hundred reports on Russia and Ukraine. These were written for a private client but shared widely within the State Department and sent up to Secretary of State John Kerry and to Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland, who was in charge of the U.S. response to the Ukraine crisis. Many of Steele's secret sources were the same sources who would supply information on Trump. One former State Department envoy during the Obama administration said he read dozens of Steele's reports on Russia. The envoy said that on Russia, Steele was as good as the CIA or anyone. Steele's professional reputation inside U.S. agencies would prove important the next time he discovered alarming material, and lit the fuse again. Washington Examiner lists that fuse as the Trump dossier that has turned the world on its head is nothing but a mere distraction that will mostly prove that Trump has nothing to do with any collusion. It's a finger-pointing tactic utilized people the people who are most likely involved or guilty but placing the blame or accusations upon others to blow smoke upon someone else. Washington Examiner continues. It is hard for an outsider to discern clearly what is going on inside the dossier investigations on Capitol Hill. But it appears some investigators are looking beyond the 35 pages of reports done by Steele for Fusion GPS, the opposition research firm working for the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee, that were published in January 2017 by BuzzFeed. They're looking into whether Steele did other reports about Trump perhaps similar but not identical to what was in the dossier published by BuzzFeed. And they are looking into whether those reports made their way to the State Department. They're also seeking to learn what individual State Department officials did in relation to Steele, and whether there were any contacts between the State Department and the FBI or Justice Department concerning the anti-Trump material. It's not clear whether State Department activity related to Steele's Russia project took place in the months leading up to the 2016 election, during the transition, or both. Hillary Clinton was, of course, Secretary of State from 2009 to 2013. People who know Steele have described him as deeply concerned by what he discovered, or perhaps thought he discovered, about Trump. The recently released testimony of Fusion GPS founder Glenn Simpson suggested that Steele was motivated to act in large part by Trump's alleged sexual escapades in a Moscow hotel room, alleged activities that were described in the first installment of the published dossier. Any escapades that involve Trump in a Moscow hotel room sound more like something Bill Clinton would possibly participate in. It's hard to imagine that Trump would be called out for things like this now but nothing else the rest of his life and career. Trump has had a reasonably clean reputation. It seems as though people are throwing numerous accusations and allegations at Trump. They're hoping something will stick, but so far nothing has brought him down. There can only be so many false accusations before people become tired of hearing about it. There can only be so many false accusations on Trump that bear no witness, no evidence, 
and have no relevance nor merit worth investigating. People have become blind to the false allegations because everything seems to turn up empty. There's no substance in anything that the left brings to the public about Trump. How long will the leftists continue to resist and cause problems instead of working together to provide solutions? They've been a thorn in the side of Trump's presidency since day one, but Trump keeps winning. Can you imagine if the Democrats were helpful? Donald Trump defeated Republicans and Democrats to wear the crown of America, but it's made him the king with a target on his back. Whoever goes after Trump next better bring their a game, because Trump keeps kicking the peasants to the curb. The curb.